Today we're going to have a look at a couple of testimonials of how Padre Pio, through his intercession, helped various people. So these are miracles after Padre Pio's death. Hello friends and welcome to this channel following Padre Pio. And here we have a series of short stories on the life of our great saint, Padre Pio, who was a Capuchin friar, mystic, a tremendous miracle worker. So do stay tuned to find out more about Padre Pio and also to see what his intercession could do for you. And we do encourage everyone to be part of this Padre Pio apostolate. And just a, a reminder that we have a, a Mass celebrated every Friday in which we bring your intentions to Padre Pio in this Mass. So specifically for that, if you want to have your intentions included, then just watch the video on the end screen. Other ways to help us with the Padre Pio apostolate. It would be tremendous if you would like our video and share the video with your friends and also with your colleagues. Now, in the first story, it, about, it is about someone who had a drinking problem. And this person wishes to remain anonymous. But he tells us this story. Late one night, he was walking to his home from work. And he was praying the rosary to, in order to overcome a particular problem that he had with alcohol. He said this problem had been getting worse over time. But he was newly married and he now had an infant son. And he realized if he did not overcome this drinking problem, if he did not defeat it, then his future was going to be filled with disasters. And so now he was determined to overcome the problem. And in his concern about this and worry about it, he turned to Padre Pio, asking him for help. And he was praying the rosary at this time when suddenly a fragrance of indescribable beauty, of indescribable character filled the air. It seemed to envelop me, he said, with its delightful aroma, and it also produced a deep sense of peace and satisfaction. And then as quickly as the aroma had arrived, it suddenly stopped. Not long after that, this is just a few steps later, and he was now back at home, was his custom now the first thing he would do would be to go upstairs and to visit his infant son who was now asleep in the crib and as he entered his son's room the same fragrance returned and then it disappeared again now remember he says that i had been asking padre pio in order to help me overcome this alcohol problem and then he adds Quite amazingly, I must tell you, from the night of the fragrance onwards to this very day, I developed and have maintained a deep disgust for alcohol. And this has gone on for more than 20 years. He said absolutely no desire whatsoever to drink alcohol in any form. It was after this experience only that he learned that Padre Pio often uses these fragrances as a sign that he was busy answering the prayer. As we said, that story is um, by someone, an, an anonymous person um, he, who withheld his name, but it is a beautiful story of overcoming this vice that can really be destructive in one's life. Our next testimony is called Healed in a Dream. And this person had been suffering now for more than 10 years. This was December 1983, and then he started this novena to Padre Pio. And now, just a month and a bit later, he, it was, this was February, he said his condition had now grown worse. His ankles had become swollen, and the pain was excruciating. It was unbearable. And then on February the 10th, he tells us he was healed in a dream. This is his dream. I was in this beautiful chapel and Padre Pio came up to me and he told me to sit down and then he touched my swollen ankles and he also touched my back and then he said, get up and walk, you are healed. And immediately he said, I woke up and, and, and got up from the bed and I walked without a single pain in my body. Well, that morning he went to Mass to thank our Lord. 
But during Mass, the, ca the pain came back. And he says, it was only for an instant because soon it felt like a warm hand had touched my back. It took my pain away. And I have never known that pain again, he says. And this, this fellow's name was Gregory William Collins. So these two incredible testimonies of healing. And by this stage, Padre Pio had already gone on to his eternal reward. He was in heaven, seeing God face to face and still continued to intercede for us from there. So that's how these healings happened. And just a reminder that we do have other videos coming up of Padre Pio, other testimonies of Padre Pio. So please do join us for these other videos. If you're not already subscribed to our channel, if you're new to our channel, then do click that subscribe button. And in order to get a reminder of our future videos, you will have to click the reminder bell as well. So just subscribe and the reminder bell immediately thereafter. And we and another reminder is to enroll your mass pray intentions. We'll bring your intentions to Padre Pio every Friday in this mass we have.